Hi Tamir, I've done some research about microscale pigmentation over the internet and I as a client have a lot of concern before I get this procedure done. I had a couple of hair transplant that left me with some scars in the back of my head and I'm really not happy with those. Especially not happy about the way how the hair grow in the front. I wish I never did it. But now I'm stuck with it. Now all I'm trying to do is to fix the problem and to find a solution and try to avoid bad attention and have people stare at my head. I guess my question to you is, what makes you better than the other companies out there? My technique is much more different than other companies that are out there. Most people point the needle straight down to your head and make dotty looks. The dot looks expanding time and it does look like somebody just put dots on your head. Uh, the way I work, I work with a fine needle and I direct the needle to the same flow of your own growing hair on the side of your hair. It's got to match the color, it's got to match the hair growth. You know, we're only human beings, so when we start doing pigmentation, we never do the front. We always start from the back. So we can match it to the back of your head. And then we go, when we match the color, then we go throughout the hair with the same way your hair flow. And doing a calic is pretty tricky, you know. When your hair have a calic, when you used to have hair, you just don't do that. You gotta do the squirrel like the way the hair move. Now, if somebody is going to do your hair in two hours, there is no way he can do a full head of hair in two hours with this technique, unless he does everything with dots. Um, well, I can show you a photo that I did. When you take your time to do the right job, obviously your workmanship will look so much better. So. If somebody's gonna do two hours, that means they'll rush you up. They wanna finish you quick because they wanna go to the next client. We only take one client a day. We take pride in our work. We wanna make sure that you leave our studio happy and for the rest of your life, you're gonna be stuck with it. You wanna be stuck with something good, not with something bad. So to me as an artist, I would take my time. I only take one client a day. So I would take six to eight hours to finish you and make sure it's gonna be detailed. So. Looking at my photo, you can judge for yourself. Look at the details and then you can see the difference. As you can see, this is a picture of me and my brother. And this is my brother before I did the procedure on him. I drew my brother, as you can see. It took me two days to finish this painting, but I did a detailed painting because it took me two days to do it. I do have another painting that I'm going to show you that took me 10 minutes to do. And you'll see the difference. They're both good painting, but you can see the difference of the detail between this photo and the photo that took me 10 minutes. The same thing with microscale pigmentation. If somebody is going to do your microscale pigmentation fast and direct the needle, like a sewing machine on your head, you know this is not gonna work. If somebody takes their time and do a detailed job, then you know you're gonna get a good job. Now, as you can see from this photo, it takes an artist's background to do a microscale pigmentation right. Not everybody could do it. So make sure that the guy who does your microscale pigmentation is an artist. Can you please say what's the cost? Well, cost-wise, it depends on the size of the boldness. You know, there's some people that have just crown to fill, some people have hairline to fill. 
Some people have to do the entire head, you know. Uh, if they suffer from alopecia, they got to do the sideburn, they got to do the eyebrow, they got to do... So obviously, price-wise, we cannot tell until we actually see the client or if the client sends us their photo, a clear photo of, of the entire head, and we can give them a price. Uh, usually, prices start as $1,500, and, uh, and it goes from there. It, uh, and it all depends on the size of the head. I would tell the people up front, if they send me their photo, their price over the phone, they don't have to come here. If they come from far away, all they have to do is text me their photos and I'll be happy to inspect those photos and give you a price over the phone. And if I gave you a price over the phone, this is going to be the price you cover for two months unlimited treatment. So we don't charge you extra with bottom line. We just want to make you happy, you know, so you can bring your friend or somebody that you know that suffer from the same problem. And I say, if you don't have the money to do it, don't jeopardize your head. This is your head, you know, for money. If you don't have the money, just don't do it, you know, or save the money to get it right. Because I've seen so many people that had this, their head done by people that don't know what they're doing. And it would cost them so much more to get it laser. Sometimes it costs more than to actually get it done. And plus the pain. Um, so I would recommend people to investigate and make sure they get the right job for the, you know, money, you gotta, you gotta go with someone you feel comfortable with and confidence. We invite every client to see the procedure life so you can see for yourself our work, not just just photo before and after. We don't like to do any Photoshop. We want you to come here and see it on another person done. If you see the job done on another person, trust me, you'll be confident that you're gonna get a good job because we're not scared to show our workmanship. Hi, I traveled all the way from Las Vegas to get my hair pigmentation done with Tamir. I've done it before with another large company out of England, but I wasn't really satisfied with their techniques and method. They did more of a dot pattern versus how Tamir he pays a lot more attention to detail and angles his needles to make it lane fast call it high speed i've been working hard yeah i've been working nightly if you think you'll win ha, not fucking likely i'd be taking shots yeah cold-blooded icy watching numbers grow is what i call sightseeing in the front row run it up when they hype me the following grows they know how to ignite me call me ceo i've been running shit right see and i ain't playing games i create my own lane making pleasure out of pain uh Turning losses into gains, I'm the boss, I'm making change I've been rocking this exchange, uh Popping off and risking things, gonna make a fucking name I just wanna be famous But I don't want that cheap fame, no I'm not that vain I just wanna be greatness I just wanna be greatness Has experience, and you know that he is the one who's working on you My main concern is not the money It's how my head is going to look like for the rest of my life I ended up doing the work with Tamir and let me tell you that was the best decision I ever made in my life and I will recommend Tamir to all my bold friends. Peace. God bless.